Inflation is at a 40-year high, interest rates are rising, and gas prices have hit a frightening $5 a gallon. The stock market is taking investors on a roller coaster ride with terrifying drops. Even if you haven't looked lately, you know that the value of your retirement account is down. Cryptocurrencies are crashing, not surprisingly. And now you're hearing that we may be in a recession or one is inevitable. You remember the Great Recession and how harsh it was for so many. So telling you to calm down or that this too shall pass doesn't address the anxiety you're feeling about your financial well-being. It's okay that you don't feel things are okay. But what you shouldn't do is make moves based on recessionary fears that can put you in a worse position financially. Recessions don't last forever. Here are eight tips to protect yourself whether a recession is coming or not. A recession is on the way. Unlike most investors, you won't panic and make huge mistakes with your money. There will be a recession. I have no idea when or how long it will last. Nobody is aware. But when is something we will eventually face? At its most recent meeting, the Fed confirmed that there is still no indication of an end to interest rates. Rate increases and the most recent economic data also give the Fed more liberty. However, the inflation rate remains unchanged despite four consecutive rate increases of 75 basis points, as it was at the start of the year. In keeping with Jerome Powell's dictum, whatever it takes, the Fed will make every effort to combat. There will be inflation and no soft landing. As investors, it's critical that we understand what to do in the event of a recession. Occasionally, it can be frightful to watch your portfolio's value decline. However, it's crucial to constantly remind ourselves to enlarge and view the stock market from a long-term perspective. Everyone will experience the same thing at once. Invest in stocks when there is blood on the streets is a general rule. Likewise, the stock indices continue to decline due to the current interest rate policy. This initially appears to be a bad thing. But what if you have the opportunity to purchase stocks at a low cost? This only functions, of course, if you have a lengthy investment horizon of at least 10 years. But the upcoming recession is the ideal time to accumulate the majority of your assets because you won't be able to invest more affordably than this. When the economy has stabilized, inflation has decreased, and interest rates have decreased once more, your stocks will produce profitable returns. You could use the Norwegian Oil Fund as an example. The fund lost nearly 24% during the financial crisis in 2008, but it turned a profit in 2009 of more than 24%, and the share's performance over time was significantly better than the short value fall in 2008. Let's now examine how you can make the most of the upcoming recession and survive it. When the markets decline, there are opportunities to invest for cash flow, but there are also some risks because no one can predict how far they will fall or how long. They may increase in the near future, under the current interest rate environment, but every rise is immediately followed by a steeper fall. To have a cash reserve to use in an emergency, it makes sense to set aside some of your money. Safety buffer. However, investing in dividend-paying stocks can make sense so that you continue to receive cash. While others tremble, flow, I wouldn't invest the entire $10,000, for instance, if you currently have it to invest. I'm out right away, but only a portion of it each month. Additionally, since you receive a better average price, your final return is higher than if you could put the entire amount into it at once. Remember your stock investment's motivation. Why is it crucial to recall your stock investment's motivation in the stock? You won't be able to decide whether to hold onto the stock despite your consideration until then the asset from the portfolio once more or watch the price fall. Don't invest in damaged companies, rather buy damaged stocks. Warren Buffett behaves in exactly this way. He invests in undervalued businesses, which means that their share price is less than their market value. Should be worth in reality. And if this is still the case, you want to keep the stock and not sell it. Of your stock portfolio, despite the current price decline, because a share price may decline for reasons unrelated to the company itself, Maintain a long-term perspective as the markets decline, I remind myself that I can now afford to purchase more shares for my long-term portfolio. Because these shares will specifically provide me with a much greater return than I purchased shares at market rates. It won't happen if you have a long-term outlook for investing that you panic sell due to short-term gains. Price declines, I also advise long-term investors to review their portfolios a couple of times, at most one year. Most people only understand or use diversification within their own country. Sectors like energy, finance, technology, etc. However, a lot of investors missed out on buying stocks in other nations and markets. The background is as follows. If your entire portfolio is made up of American stocks, recession, your entire portfolio will suffer. However, if you also own shares of companies in nations where the recession is not as severe, these securities reduce the loss. The higher return you can obtain with stocks in so-called emerging countries is another factor. 
Also, markets. Emerging markets are developing nations that are close to industrialization. Countries. Emerging markets are a component of a global portfolio and have recently increased yields. Decades. The Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund, which invested in the same things, also showed this. Over time, it was able to increase returns by investing in emerging markets. Purchase defensive shares. Defensive shares are those that offer stable earnings and reliable returns even during a recession. They typically manufacture products for consumer markets, utilities, or the healthcare industry. People require, not just desire. The majority of market news is just confusing, so stop reacting to it. These news can frequently result in poor decisions if you invest for a long time, even though they only influence the market temporarily. For instance, from 1957 to 2021, the SP500 returned 11.88% on average yearly. If you keep this in mind every time you read bad news, you will fare better than most who panic and sell. If you use a financial advisor to hold mutual funds, to be completely honest, stop what you're doing right now. No matter what the market does, your financial advisor will profit from you. If the value is $70 and you have $100,000, you better believe your financial situation will suffer. Despite the fact that he does what you can learn on your own, the advisor still charges a 2% fee. A few months from now, long-term investing is not difficult to do. Avoid investing in highly leveraged companies. This term refers to a company that borrows money. They enjoy investing the borrowed funds in the hopes of increasing their financial returns. There is nothing wrong with it and it provides a better return. However, during a recession, you want to invest in businesses with low debt, positive cash flow, and a robust balance sheet, as I mentioned at the outset, as the Fed will continue to what transpires when businesses have high levels of debt, which causes interest rates to rise and then must pay it even more in interest. Yes, they will eventually get to the point where they are unable to pay it, and then they will eventually run into trouble. I hope you enjoy this video and make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any video like this. Thank you for watching and here are some financial tips and ways to make money in 2023.